YouTuber Mr. Beast slammed for tipping a server a brand new car, which is crazy that he's getting slammed for this. So Mr. Beast is facing mixed reactions to his latest viral TikTok in which he claimed to gift a waitress with a brand new car wrapped with logos promoting his business ventures. The most followed YouTuber in the world, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, posted a 42-second clip on Monday in which he asked a server named Amy about the biggest tip she's ever received. Like $50, she replied. Has anyone ever tipped a car? Donaldson asked, handing her a set of keys to a black Toyota sedan. And an emotional Amy can't believe her luck as Donaldson24 leads her outside to check out her new ride, which has the logo of his chocolate brand Feasibles printed on the side. And inside, a Feasibles chocolate bar also sits in the cup holder. The logo for the Mr. Beast YouTube channel, which has 139 million subscribers, is printed on the hood. I was literally late to work today because the Uber was slow, Amy told Donaldson. I'm in such shock right now, she added. I don't even know how to drive. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now, that's funny. Amy's been getting to work without a car for months. Thanks to you, we changed that. Donaldson captured the clip, which has more than 53.2 million views. And, like, what people need to understand right? This is literally perfect marketing for him. His whole YouTube channel is him giving people money, gifts, free stuff that costs a lot of money. So here's the thing. His ad revenue is not going to pay for everything that he wants to do in terms of giving people stuff. So how does he supplement that? He has other businesses like his chocolate business that helps get a lot of money. So like what? That was viewed like 50 something million times, right? A portion of those viewers went to his website and bought a whole bunch of chocolate so that he could fund another video, right? So who cares that he wrapped it? Which by the way, do you really think that he wouldn't end up having an option to just change the color of it or get rid of the wrap on it for her because it's her car now? Which, by the way, this is another thing too because some people may not know this, but Mr. Beast talked about how he gives away prizes before. And in some cases... If he's giving someone like an item, like an expensive item, he will basically offer to just buy that item for them and like literally give them the cash. So this brand new Toyota, let's just say it's 30 grand. He will just give them 30 grand for the car. So he might end up keeping the car, but give her actually 30 grand, which she could just then go and buy any car she basically wants within reason. Because people need to think about that too, right? He gives people options. So this kind of content isn't new to Donaldson, who reportedly gave away around $3.2 million last year, according to Insider. Sometimes his pals and subscribers are recruited to compete in challenges such as living in a spray-painted circle for 100 days or a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek. In January, Donaldson took some heat for a different viral video titled... 1,000 blind people see for the first time, and that featured people whose sight was restored after surgery. Some accused the YouTuber of paying for the surgeries as a stunt to get clicks, but Donaldson seemed to defend the video on Twitter. Which, by the way, like his main business is to get attention, right? Because of YouTube, which drives everything else. So the more attention his videos get, the more money his company can generate, which means the more generosity, the more things that he can give to people because the more money he has access to. 
so some fans weren't impressed that Amy's prize doubles as a promotion for Donaldson and his chocolate line. Like, I swear some people just can't be, like, happy, like, at all. Sorry, but the feasible's wrapping kind of ruined it, one commenter said. I'm going to be honest, it's nice you got a car, but I am not driving a car around that has feasibles on the side, another declared. And again, some people, again, may not know this, he gives people an option to either take the item or just get it be basically bought and off. So let's check this out. Valium, Mr. Beast. What's the biggest tip you've ever gotten? Like 50. $50? Yeah. Has anyone ever tipped a car? Oh my, you're... Have you seen our TikTok before? It's Mr. Beast. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> Don't pass you're, out. You're lying. Yeah. This is not, this is a car key. This is not a car. You want to see it? It's outside. Let's go. Right over here, you'll see your brand new car. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting a crowd. I mean, is this, this isn't real. No, it is real. <laughs> Just hit the unlock button. See the big choice. I was literally late to work today because the Uber was so hard. I'm like panicking. I can't hear this. this I'm like in such shock right now. I don't even know how to drive. Enjoy the car. Thank you so much. See, that's still pretty cool, right? Like, no matter what people might say, him being able to give someone a gift like this, which could technically dramatically improve their life. Because if what she said was true, where she wasn't, like, where she was basically late to work because she had to take an Uber, but now she has access to a car, so she's not going to be late to work, which means that she could be on time, which means she could make more money, which means that she could improve her situation a lot. Right? Not to mention the amount of money that you spend on an Uber is like double, triple what you would just spend driving yourself. Crazy. Let's see. Amy's been getting to work without a car for months. Oh, no space there. Thanks to you, we changed that. What's the biggest tip you've ever got? Crazy. I don't get why people just hate on this sort of stuff. I'd rather be caught riding around in a trash can than that, one bully stated. But other viewers had a different mindset. Bruh, so many people complaining about the Feasible's wrap. If I get a free car wrap in it, whatever you want, one person wrote. Like, if I get a free car, wrap it in whatever you want, the person said. People acting like just because it's a Feasible's wrap, it ain't a free car. <laughs> Like, here's the thing, like, this is like a brand new Toyota. So, we're talking like mid 20s to low 30s for a brand new car. This is some of these comments. No one complained when Oprah was handing out cars, lousy cars, by the way. He has Asperger's and doesn't relate to people well. But he tries and gives most of his money away. Gives a pass in my book. It's his money. He can do whatever he wants with it. Apparently, he's a good-hearted person that has done some things before. Good for him. The bigger picture here is he is giving to those that do not have. Who cares if it is wrapped or it is to help his channel? So people need to get a real life, and hopefully they will be blessed to receive. Like, again, here's the thing that I don't really understand, Right? If someone does something to where they can make a hundred grand in like a year, right? But they use a portion of that to go and help another person. Are you really going to hate on that person for whatever they are doing? I don't know. Seems kind of crazy to me.